Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of All The Mods 7. How are you guys doing today? How's life? If you guys remember, last episode we came to the end in search of an Optanium. And in order to hollow out the end islands, we are using a builder which is clearing out everything. The builder is still working, but we have a few on Optanium. Also you should remember that in order to make the seed, we only need 12 ores. That is 4. If you have a magnet, turn it on. Aha! More over here, we have 7. That should be 10, and well, we have our 12. We can or triple it, this is why I'm silk touching everything. I have also been digging in other areas, and we have quite a bit over here too. Oh, we have 21, <laughs> let's go home. Okay, we got 21 on Optanium Ore, and therefore we did manage to get 63 ingots, and that is good. The issue is that in addition to getting on Optanium, we also got 1 million endstone, and well, a bunch of other ores. Uh, some of them actually go to world height. Uh, no, 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 don't you worry, that's not it. There's more. Uh, this chest is full, this is full, this one is also full, and this one is also full. And that does not even include the ores that I literally just melted. So over here at our Inferium farm, we have one Insanium block. And if I link my tablet to this Ender chest, let us see how much Insanium are we going to get. Uh, you go on square, and we dig. I have crazy fortune, I forgot. Okay, that wasn't that bad. We got 11 blocks. We had 3 columns of Inferium, so I guess that's a decent yield. However, you might notice that we have 1 column left and it's not very important, it's just dimensional shards, but I want to try something. I have heard that there is an achievement that if you trade with a villager at world height, you should be able to get it. Uh, do we have someone with a profession? Yes. Oh, you changed it. Okay. I don't care what you're going to give me, just give it to me. Oh yeah! There is one. Thank you for your service. Also, thank you for your service. That's a long jump. Oh, nice. Uh, we get blood. So, dimensional shard is not something that would interest me. What would interest me is the amount of uranium that we got. Because personally, I think we're doing great. Now that we have a decent supply of insanium, let us start crafting a few seeds. Two of the seeds are incredibly important, one of them is Aldemodium and the other one is Unobtanium. Because if you look at the recipe of the Aldemod star, yes, we're going to need blocks of Unobtanium Aldemodium alloy. So basically what I'm trying to say is that we need quite a bit. So Aldemodium blocks, Insanium blocks, and the lever. Thank you, thank you. We are going to do the exact same thing for Unobtanium, so there you go, thank you. And for making Vibranium we don't really have the blocks, so let's make Uranium too. The thing is, we are going to get an additional block very soon and we are going to have four of them, but the thing is, uh, we need the magical soil. Otherwise, I don't think all the modium and unobtanium are going to grow and, well, these guys also need an insanium block. And by one, I mean four. Okay, so it has been a few hours later and I have been busy, but I have not been busy in a productive way, I just did garbage. I was actually thinking, so I couldn't do anything other than garbage. What I did is that I made a walkway in front of our door because I realized whenever I'm exiting the door, I'm just dropping by 15 blocks. So now we have a very small pathway which also leads to our ore processing area. This is the place that we spawned originally and I noticed that we have a giant hole and, well, I made a small pond for our new little friends. This one is the special one, the other ones are just bodyguards. Hello, I know you like me, I like you too. But liking me is normal, I'm very adorable. I know, I'm a jerk. Anyhow, what I have been thinking is that I'm trying my best, but our progress is garbage. And then I realized something. When we started this mod pack, there was no sign of all the mod star. The pack got updated around, I think, episode 6 or 7, and then, well, we had to get serious. Before that, we were just doing stuff for fun. So this stupid Inferium farm that we have over here would have been nice if we would have made it on episode 3 or 4. We're on episode 13, so it's a bit late. I need to start getting high tier seeds and well at this speed we're not doing great. So I am using our digital miner in order to harvest some inferium ore and I'm hoping that will substitute it. Cause I'll be very honest with you, there is no way in this world that I can make this guy go faster. I mean there is, I just meant without lagging my game. So long story short, this is going to take a bit of time and well, we just have to wait. We can work on other stuff. For example, I have just updated the pack and now we have industrial foregoing, as well as a bunch of other goodies. And considering the fact that our infrastructure is very garbage, uh, maybe it's time to fix that. Uh, what is this? Oh, I don't like that. As usual, we are going to start with producing latex. And for that we need some fluid extractors. 
and this is not what I wanted to do. I accidentally vein mined everything, but that's fine. I am going to use some wireless chargers in order to power the blocks. We shall have our four extractors, one log, and we need to gather one bucket of latex. So I guess for the moment, we can have a jumbo tank. We are almost there. Yes, we have a bucket. That being completed, we should be able to make our latex processing unit. And this guy should hopefully produce us a teeny tiny bit of plastic. I kind of forgot that it needs water. The reason that we need plastic is that I need 36 pieces of tiny rubber in order to make a block placer. So this could take a while. While I'm waiting for some plastic, we're going to engage in my new favorite mod. Uh, can you guess what it is? Uh, bubbly hearts. That has also been added and I think we need like one stack of hearts. So I'll just wait for that and then void the rest. I don't really remember which mob drops which heart. So for the moment, we have the red ones. Let's use them. We need some jeweled apples. And the rest of the items we already have. So we can have 10 of these. And one amulet. And I think it has its own dedicated slot. Yes. So you guys go in. And there you go. 10 extra hearts. <laughs> I love hearts. Only 12. The issue is that this is a temporary setup until I get the block placers and well, I need to do this manually. I did manage to get the plastic that I wanted, but just before I forget, I want to try something. In the update notes, it was mentioned that you can no longer spawn the wither inside hostile neural networks. The same thing was said with blazes, but this one seems to be working. Or maybe it just always fails. No. This one succeeded. So can I also spawn withers? I mean, now that we have industrial foregoing, it doesn't really matter if we can use this data model or not, but I was just curious. That also works. So I was wrong with the patch notes. Fine. Anyhow, I think we have everything we need in order to make this guy a teeny tiny bit more permanent. As far as I'm understanding everything, we need two lines of latex production. One of them is going to be the latex that we need in a dissolution chamber, and the other one is just to make rubber. So I'm assuming it will look something like this. So I have a block placer down there, which is going to place the logs. We have fluid extractors, which are extracting the latex. Latex goes inside the latex processing unit. For providing it with water, we're going to have an aqueous accumulator. And I just need to run a pipe. At first, I wanted to go with a crafter from RF Tools, but apparently a sequential fabricator is much better. Do you know why? Because we can auto input. Maybe. Yes. Then all we need is a redstone furnace, which will smelt it up. That is plastic. Oh, we already got four. Cool. That means I should be able to make my second block placer and start processing latex itself. Okay, our system is now complete. We are producing plastic at a very slow rate and we are also producing latex at a very garbage rate. But now that we have access to latex, we should be able to make a few speed upgrades. And I just wanted to mention that in the meantime, I'm still extending the pillars. Oh, I thought we would reach world height. Maybe not. We don't really have that much rubber, so I think we can only make three dissolution chambers. So there you go. And it's a very good thing that we have extra channels over here because we can use it for the dissolution chambers. I just set up a pattern for a speed upgrade and let us see if we can make one. Maybe we should lock the recipe? So now that we have a speed upgrade, uh, will you go in? Yep. I was under the impression that you always needed tier 1 before you can install tier 2. But this is a tier 2 and it works, therefore I'm not going to complain. Another thing is that what if we don't lock the recipe? It seems to work. Applied Energistics is very smart. It's just that we're out of latex. Now that we have our latex, it's time to move on. We need to start making pink slime and for that we need to have a mob slaughter factory. So we need to have a new mob farm. Uh, where did we put it? Actually, here is nice. It's like three wide and I can put it back here. Yes, why the hell not? Besides, it doesn't have to be massive. It just has to be a nine by nine. Oh, and one thing that I forgot is that we also need to have a spawner. One of the quarries is digging through a roguelike dungeon, so that should be easy. This is a stupid massive hole. Uh, where are the spawners? Yes, there you go. Okay, I think I have a few bits and pieces so that we can get started. We can have the mob slaughter factory right over here. A range add-on of 4 so that it will be a 9 by 9 Efficiency, speed, and processing. I also brought some augments for our spawner, so here is a nether star. A dragon egg. Hello. Oh, we already got it. Pink slime and fluid meat. We add some sugar and some clocks. Maybe a teeny tiny bit of fermented spider eyes. Just in case. Yep, much better. Light is not very important because we're using a dragon egg, but we can have some cool glass. However, now that we are getting the fluids, we need to store it somehow. And I have been hoping that for that, we would be able to use some dynamic tanks from Mechanism. Uh, they look nice. It's just that we need them to be pretty tall. Yeah, I guess this is going to be fine. I think these guys can be configured, yes. You can export it to the right and liquid meat to the left. I don't think the pipes are going to need any upgrades because 
How much are we going to get? Not much. We should maybe switch this one with glass. Yep. The reason that I have so much pipes on me is because I wanted to make a pipeline and then I was like, yeah, it's too much pipes. We just use dimensional tanks. Oh, one thing that I wanted to check was that if everything is in one chunk and we got very lucky. Okay, we have latex, we have pink slime, we have fluid meat, and we should be able to get into the advanced stuff from industrial foregoing. But before doing that, there are a few things that we need to fix. Actually, we have to go that way. If you look at the journey map, you might notice that there are mobs in the mob farms, even though there aren't any. Well, now there is, but it didn't used to for a split second. I think those are vengeance spirits, and I'm not really sure if they cause any lag or not, but we should prevent them from spawning. And if I'm not wrong, there should be a torch. Oh, we have the lantern of paranoia. Yes, gemstone torch. Uh, we just cook them, and we just need a few planks from you uh, for making the torches. Oh, and by the way, if it wasn't clear, uh, this is from the undead tree. It says the area of effect is 15 by 15 blocks, so we can put it here. Let's see if they spawn. They do despawn after a few seconds, and I'm just worried about when they spawn for a few seconds. Uh, we seem to be good. Uh oh, <laughs> lava. I guess we put one down there. It should work. Yes, we're no longer getting them. That is perfect. Another thing that we need to do is that I have read your comments regarding FTB industrial contraptions and about the fluid cell. And for those of you who don't remember, there are no ways of filling this guy in with water, at least not according to the JI, and I used to do this, which is stupid. However, very wisdomous people said that I can use a spout. I'm not sure, so let us give it a try. So if we have a depot, one spout, one sink, a fluid pipe, and we extract, can we do this? Yeah? That is amazing! Thank you! If that is the case, let me make a system for it. We are setting it up over here at our Certus Quartz area, and we don't have any cables from Applied Energistics here, and I'm not really a fan of long cables. So I think here's what we can do. We do have free channels, that is good. We're going to have a pattern provider. We shall have an ender chest on top. I don't know, frequency 4? I guess. And we just have to make a pattern that one empty cell gives us a water cell. Uh, that goes in. And I don't know, if I order a hundred, you should craft some cells and put it inside the dimensional chest. That is true. If that is the case, we can have a funnel, which goes on a belt, one gearbox, one motor, and one quantum entangler porter. I should really make a card for configuring these. I'm lazy. The direction is correct, that is perfect. So I can increase it to, I don't know, 64? Doesn't really matter, it's just a belt. Nope, 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 nope. Did you fill them in? No. Well, I was hoping for this to look a bit nicer, apparently not. Then we can't have a belt. We make some arms. Well, I did everything again with arms and it seems to work. Uh, we just covered these guys. I don't really like watching them. I have to fix this part of the base, but do not be worried. What we want to know is that, does it actually work? Uh, let's order, I don't know, 10 of them? Yes, yes, you're picking it up, you're filling it in, and you're depositing it. Perfect. It has a filter. Because, you know, otherwise it's going to just pick up the empty cells, and that's not what we want. And yes, we seem to be fine. Thank you so much for the suggestion. Yeah, it does work, but it's not doing a great job, because this guy is picking up the empty ones. So, I don't know, maybe you need a better filter? Yeah, I don't understand this. Why are we getting empty bottles? And my biggest problem is we want the one with water, but somehow the crafting job is being completed. Respect data, I don't know. Yes, finally it's working. We should just respect the data. That was it. The reason that I wanted to fix the water cell issues is that I want to use a few machines from FTB Industrial Contraptions, and well, without overclocker upgrades, they're kind of garbage. And besides, now we are semi-rich, we should be able to use the EV stuff. We just need some antimatter, where is my card? Oh, here. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I forgot this. We are wearing hazmat suit, that is great. This is the part I did not think through. Yeah, we can click. And since we have the antimatter, can you make me an EV battery box? Yes. Everything is going to take ages. You know, I'm just doing all of this for sugar, and then I noticed I need like 300 normal solar panels? And I think I went through like 5000 slime balls. Uh, that's a waste of resources. I like that. Okay, now I think we finally have the items that we need. Uh, these are EV solar panels. Is incredibly dark, but I'm just cabling, so it's not very important. In order to have a buffer during the night, we're going to have an EV battery box, which is charging up, that is good. And then we should be able to run cables to our machines. Uh, these guys have transformer upgrades, otherwise I think there's going to be an explosion or something will go wrong with the fuse. So let's get back to sugar, I guess. I want a centrifuge. Because, you know, it gives you two sugar and one paper. With the stupid amount of resources which we have just spent, that is totally worth it. 
uh, actually, you need to have a transformer upgrade first. So we break the cable, you get your transformers, we connect you again. And if I give you sugar, you will work, right? No. Yeah, I think I got it. We can charge the battery from the top, but we need to extract it from the side. Now he's fine. And he can process sugar. And we just give you a few overclocker upgrades and let us see how fast you're going to work. Pretty good. I'm happy. Uh, you also need to eject. Thank you. Also, I was thinking in order to charge our armor, maybe we can have a few charge pads over here and somehow connect it to our line over there. Yep, something like this. We just spent maybe 20,000 resources just to get a teeny tiny better yield from sugarcane, but uh, we don't have any sugarcane. I mean, we're not growing it. Obviously, I'm joking, those resources were spent in order to expand our infrastructure, so it's going to be useful later on. But that does not change the fact that I really don't have any sugar. So I thought maybe we should have a very small room for garden cloches and plant a few crops. And by crops, I mean random crops that we need from time to time. For example, this time, it's sugar. And if I put the wireless chargers here, are you going to get power? No. Oh, it's one block too low. This seems to be working fine. Yes, they are getting power. I did make some scaffolding to hide the pipes, which looks a teeny tiny bit better, I guess. And honestly, I think we can just get away by having a dimensional chest behind them, right? They should auto output. I just realized you cannot plant sugarcane in a garden cloche on dirt. It has to be sand. Because, you know, if I put dirt, it doesn't grow. Yeah, they do auto output. That is good. If that is the case, we shall also have our cactus. Now that we have a few garden cloches, there is something that I want to try. Uh, let us try and get this magical soil. For that, we need a few pieces of terra steel. That is one. I was hoping it's going to be faster, but I guess this is fine. It doesn't make any noises. That's bad. Uh, let us also see how many Gaia spirits we have. Oh, 72. Well, I did fight him a few times to get the trinkets. I wasn't expecting 72. We have four blocks of Insanium and we also need the seed. Oh, we have 14. That is also good. I am going to set up a dedicated farm for all the Modium seeds. I was not meant to place this. But before I get all the seeds and everything, we might as well use the Garden Cloches. A on Obtainium. You go in. You look horrible. And how fast are you going to grow? Pretty garbage. It's okay, we have to craft magical soil anyways. I have just realized 40 million zap is a lot of zap. Because up here I did manage to add three more solar panels and all of them are EV. That's a lot of power. <laughs> that stupid thing is still charging up. So just before we wrap up today's episode, there is one more thing that I want to do now that we have access to pink slime. We need to be able to make simple machine frame from industrial foregoing. And now that we have access to pink slime, we should also be able to make the advanced machine frame. So simple is with latex and advanced is with pink slime. We have an ender tank. And if that is the case, can you make me 10? Yes. Can you make me too advanced? Yes. We haven't messed it up. The reason that I wanted these guys is that I want to start making a laser drill. What has me scared the most in this mod pack is uranium. We do have a decent supply, but since we don't really have a good power generation except the turbines from mechanism, I have to rely on uranium. Quarries are not going to give me a consistent supply, and besides, the laser drill should also give me the ores from thermal expansion. Cause you know, in our immediate vicinity, there are no thermal expansion ores. Anyways, here is our drill. And can we have 12 bases? Okay. Or was it the opposite way? No, 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 no. <laughs> I always do this the opposite way. We need one base. And the rest are going to be drills. Also, I guess we need 12 of each and every one of the upgrades. We are going to start with 12, see the power situation, and then we will think what we should do. This is not going to be its permanent location. I want to make a structure for it later on, but for the moment, we're just testing. We shall have three drills on each side, a quantum entangler porter. I still haven't made the card. And obviously, a bunch of upgrades. Oh, each one uses 1000 RF, fully upgraded. That's actually not very bad because if I'm not wrong, the digital miner at its current speed consumes like 70,000 RF. Oh my goodness. That is fast. The laser has improved. Oh, and by the way, just to clarify, I'm never ever going to dismantle the quarries because I love them. This is supposed to be mainly for ores that I need millions of and, well, quarries are not going to cut it. I think lime should be for uranium. Yes. Uh, let me get a few lenses. I'll be right back. So lenses are supposed to stack and the more of them you have, the more focused your laser is going to be. The maximum depth for uranium is 28. If I'm not wrong, no, it's 29. But the issue is that we're actually getting much more emeralds than uranium. And we're not even getting the uranium ore, we're getting the raw uranium. Oh yeah, it does make sense to get more emeralds, because the weight is 8. 
Uranium is five. I did not know that. So maybe we don't use lenses. We would be able to get all the ores, I guess. But one thing that we should remember is that eventually I'm going to have like 36 of these drills, so this should go incredibly fast. Oh, iridium. Just before we wrap up, I just wanted to mention a very small thing. I am not going to dismantle the quarries, and actually our graveyard project is going to be for the quarries. I'm actually going to use your souls to generate a few ores. And why are you floating? Oh, it's a grass. Also, a lot of you have been asking me why am I not using a chunk destroyer, and the answer to that is very simple. I tried this in creative, and it's incredibly laggy. Who hit me? And I do understand that a lot of you are using it already. The problem is that I'm trying to make videos, and well, lag is not the best. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.